welcome to When Creativity Knocks Wedding Series. Our designers have been whipping up some really creative projects to help you add some crafty touches to your wedding events. Hello, I'm going to show you today how to make this beautiful box for a centerpiece on a table at a wedding, a Southwest type wedding. And we're also going to do this little place card setting jar with your place card. I got a planter box from the store, a wooden one, and I painted it with acrylic paints in a burnt orange color, an ochre color, and a little bit of blue running through it. Then I painted the inside all blue. Now I take my diamond glaze and using a paintbrush, I'm going to paint mountains, but I'm going to do it one layer at a time, and then I'm going to sprinkle my colored sands on it. As we sprinkle, we're going to gently get it on there and fill in all our areas, then sprinkle it, the excess, into our snappy trays. We're going to continue painting diamond glaze and adding more layers. I used four colors, but three to four colors would work of the colored sand. And this sand was called scenic sand. But continue to use your diamond glaze as your adhesive for the sand. And just roll it. Just make your mountains in any shape you would like. As you get it on there, and the diamond glaze will stay wet enough for you while you're working. And just keep sprinkling that sand on. We're now going to get a little bit of golden mica gloss. And we're going to use our fingers and we're going to make a sun up in the right hand corner. Next, we're going to get a little peacock mica gloss. And I'm actually going to use a rubber stamp and stamp a spiral sun up there. Now we're going to take and also take a little bit of the golden mica gloss and sun kiss a few of the mountains. So make sure you go ahead and do your sand all the way around the box so that it will, when sitting in the center of a table, Everybody will have a nice view. Now we're going to make the card setting that's going to hold the number of the table for us. And we're going to use this barrel cactus and color it with these alcohol-based pens in two or three shades of green. And then I'm going to add the little flower tops. I'm going to add some magenta up in there and some orange just to brighten it up and make it look beautiful. Now we're going to do our little mason jar and we're going to fill it with all of our scenic sands in different layers and different amounts until he's filled all the way to the very top. We're going to cover our lid the side of the lid and we're going to take some burlap and some hot glue and fold it over to make it about an inch size but to get rid of all the frays. When you get it all glued together then you're going to take it and measure it around the lid and trim off the excess. When you finish gluing it to the lid Get some twine and wrap it two, three times around your lid, tie a bow, and if you have excess, trim it. 
Okay, now we're ready to do our cork. We have to cut the cork in half and then in quarters. We are going to, after it's in quarters, hot glue one section onto the lid. enjoying our special wedding series. Remember to follow us on social media and sign up on our website to receive our newsletter and you're automatically entered to win one of our prize boxes full of some of our favorite products. And until next time, when creativity knocks, open the door!